So this is Terrarium. It's a tropical oasis in downtown Portland where you can create your own plant world in a jar. A terrarium is a enclosed ecosystem uh, that contains all of your soils, rocks, plants, and even insects inside oh, of it. I did not think that one was coming. <laughs> yeah, lot, we, we, lots of little fun insects are in there as well. And you've got a, a ton on this wall right here, right? This is my wall of inspiration. Uh, we do a lot of build your own terrarium here at the shop. And so I, I try to tell people to take a look over here to help them construct some ideas out of the terrariums that I have built for myself. Well, I've gotten a little inspired by this, but I still need you to show me how to make one. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so today we'll be turning this bubble bowl vase into a bioactive terrarium. Uh, what's what's bioactive? Uh, bioactive is the inclusion of insects into our terrarium build. The first step we're gonna do today is we're gonna be creating a false bottom to the terrarium. Today okay. we'll be using this small gravel uh, the purpose of the false bottom to the terrarium is to ensure airflow to the root system as well as collect any water in case of overwatering the terrarium. The next step we'll be doing will be adding the soil and you can go ahead and just start shoveling the soil straight in there. All right, just scoop the goal after is scoop. to fill this jar a third of the way full oh, wow. with our small rocks and soil. This is my leaf litter, and this goes back into our bioactive conversation we had earlier. Mm. Uh, leaf litter to the isopods and springtails we'll be adding to this terrarium build. Uh, this is their everything. And we'll be crushing up the leaf litter and thoroughly covering the surface of the soil. So now you're putting some hardscape in yeah. here? And I'm using this piece of cork bark. Uh, one, it's very dynamic. It's adding really interesting. Is this the cork bark too? Yep, this is the cork bark too. It's adding really interesting depth to it, but it's also creating a nice habitat for my isopod friends to move into. Now we're gonna start placing some larger plants what into our terrarium. Uh, this is a clathia, and this is clathia burl marks right here. Um, this is a chunk of it off of a larger plant that I have divided earlier, and I'm going to divide it further. And then I'm gonna find a nice little spot to place into my terrarium. These are three little parlor palms yep. here. We're gonna add these right into the back of the terrarium build as well. Oh, you have a little bonsai that we're gonna A little bonsai in. tree we're nice. gonna stick in there. This is a ginseng ficus. And it's gonna look really neat next to this tree over here, so we're gonna kinda of make it a focal point to our terrarium. Now talk a little bit about your 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 shop here. I mean, it's not just, you know, making terrariums, but it's, it's kind of a social place yeah. too, right? Yeah, uh, so in addition to Build Your Own Terrarium, we also have a large variety of house plants that are for sale, Yeah. Um, as well as we have beer and wine and snacks. We do run a happy, we do run a happy hour during the weekday. So now I'm gonna come through with my mosses and I'm gonna start placing my mosses into my environment to help finish up my build on my design. So this is uh, this is Leucobrium glaucum. This is a native main moss. I place my mosses down towards the front of my terrarium. Yeah. It creates a nice negative space environment I, I for that. the front of the terrarium while creating that sense of escapism. Now we're gonna go through and get to the Creepy good crawlies. Stuff. Springtails eat mold. So oh. the addition of the insects to the terrarium is not for the benefit of the plants, it's for the benefit of the terrarium. We pipe at them right up, and we come right in and we blast them right into Boom. the terrarium. These are what is known as isopods. An and isopod, huh? Yeah, or the classic roly-poly. Roly-poly. Really so once we have them over our opening, I just tap lightly. Bye guys. Bye guys. And look at them scurry in there, huh? So the final step, placing the lid right on the tree. Now that it's built and completed, it's been watered, we don't have to do anything to this terrarium right. for months. And onto the wall of inspiration it goes. It's a keeper. It is a keeper. Rob, thanks so much for showing us about terrarium. Hey folks, get down to terrarium in downtown Portland, have a beer, make a plant garden, you'll have a blast. You can go to our new Center Main YouTube channel, you can watch all the Gardening with Gutners there, and get your growing going on Gardening with Gutners.